Warning, the following authentic anime trailer will have major spoilers, and please don't take offense if I insult the movie more than it deserves to be insulted. About a decade after the 700 episode madness following, the antisocial Naruto slowly managed to save the world. He becomes Hokage, finally accomplishing his dream, and succeeds in getting from the number one hyperactive knucklehead ninja to ninja lord badass. So now, uh, the story decided to start following someone else so the cash can still flurry. Boru. Naruto. The ship finally sailed, and Naruto finally got down to business with Hinata, Boruto's mom, who had literally like one line in the entire movie and was basically, like all the other badass female characters from the series, a ditzy housewife that only succeeds in getting hurt while trying to possibly do something. Welcome to a decade advanced world of ninjas with televisions and supercomputers, yet still somehow lacking guns and still somehow full of shuriken. They did come out with Spider Man's Jutsu shooters that can automatically use any jutsu though, so, uh, yeah. Follow the obsolete ninja Boruto, a kid who's actually a powerful ninja for his age without the help of tailed beast plot armor that's weaker than Shikamaru's kid. As time passes, young Boruto gets tainted little by little because his father took out his own daddy issues on his son, full of spite. Boruto aspires towards Sasuke, the guy who's literally been walking and moping around in the woods for like 10 years, aside from his Sakura breaks which resulted in more spliced character art, Uchiha style, who's Boruto's teammate and surprisingly looks up to Naruto. <laughs> their ship practically sailed and meet their third teammate, pale-faced snake dude. Sound familiar? Watch history repeat itself as pale OP villains come to capture Naruto in middle of another tuning exam, where Minnie Lee just had to lose to a sand guy. Come on! Allow your facial orifices to explode with joy as Naruto finally traded this. For almost fate level animation and replayed all the awesome fight soundtracks from the original series. That's when you realize that single handedly Naruto can probably take over the entire ninja world, as uh, this is the worst crop of Kages in history. With villains so powerful, they managed to destroy their own stuff and each other dramatically, only to eventually lose to Genin Bozo Boruto, the guy weaker than Shikamaru's kid, and of course be taken down by another fing Rasengan like every other Naruto movie. Thankfully, not before outdoing every fight in Attack on Titan or any mech anime, because this is apparently how ninjas are depicted in Japan. Well, at least it beats Trigger's recent abomination. Starring Gru, Lucy, The Minions. El Macho, Vector, Dr. Nefario, Stuart, Kevin, Bob, Agnes, The Omnitrix, Old Dudes, and the slightly less badass version of Ryan Higa, Ninjas the Documentary. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Please check out my other authentic anime trailers, including the one on Naruto, and One Punch Man, and Arsene Sankey, and Hunter x Hunter, I guess. Or Shokugeki no Soma, or Wari no Sarap. In fact, you could check out all of them if you'd like. That would be great with me. At the moment, I'm not sure which honest trailer I'm putting out next. I'm torn between the Seven Deadly Sins, Bleach, and a couple other stuff. So uh, you let me know what you want to see. Thanks. Have a great evening.